What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and this is long overdue. We're going to be doing a building video today. Um, I'm going to try and get some lights up so I don't have to continuously uh, change the brightness here so you guys can see. I think lights would be pretty freaking dope. And I do have some stuff I need to craft first. Uh, by the way, I'm making one of these armor, armor plating mods for my new blue helmet, which is awesome. So there we go. More armor is always a good thing. And I also need to make... I've got 200 flagstone, so that's great. But the work that needs to be done is going to be over here in the chemistry station. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some wood in here. And then I'm going to make... Um, let's make gas cans first. Although that's going to take longer. But I don't really need the glue that badly. So yeah, ca gas cans first. And then glue. And we need to set that up for about 30 minutes. I'll go a little bit over 30. Uh, where are my logs? <laughs> they're in the, they're somewhere else, so. Alright, so that's going to do its thing over there. And the first thing we need to do is get down a floor. Uh, because I do want to put my lights on the ceiling. So, just for the beginning of this video, I'm not going to make a dark video. Like, I'm not going to make a video you guys can't see in. So, just for the rest of this video, I'll try and get a floor up here. And then we will get some lights. I've also got to start thinking about defenses. Um, I've got some ideas about how I want to do the defenses, but I don't really know what we're going to get to today and what we're not. You know, that's not going to be enough. Uh, that's not going to be enough cobblestone. It really, uh, or flagstone. It's really not. So let's go ahead and make another, just make another 200. We're going to need it. We are definitely going to need it. So I'm just building, I'm building this whole thing out of flagstone. I'll paint it later to make it look different. Okay, so let's go ahead and I guess we just build this up now. So let's go ahead and put this down. I do need to do a building video for the horde base. I think we're one building video away from the horde base. Um, on face, advanced, simple, copy shape, copy rotation. I think we're one video away from like one horde base building video away of being ready for next horde night. So that's cool. And here we go. And then we'll do this one as well. Okay, and then we'll do this one while well, we've got the shape up there. Apparently, I am thirsty, but not for long. Not for long, peeps. All right, let's go ahead and take this and go like that. All right, beautiful. And then we will just build this thing all the way up along the way, get a floor down. And then that way I can start putting some lights. I like my lights to go on the ceiling, so that's, that's the thought process here. Okay. So we'll come over here and do the same thing. Let's do these first. And then we'll come back and do the old slanty blocks. Alright, beautiful. Okay, now right here and we will go... Copy shape. Copy rotation. Copy rotation. Yeah, I love that, that copy shape, copy rotation thing. It's pretty freaking dope. I didn't know it was use it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's just a nice little uh, quality of life thing for the fun pimps to give us. Copy shape. Okay. So where is the ceiling going to be? So this is going to be three. Oh, this is going to be four high. No, it's going to be three high. Nope. This is the ceiling right here. One, two, three. So we'll bring this across the way. I don't think I'm going to need any support pillars in there, which is nice. And then we'll bring this across here. Alright, I usually like to build, like, um, when I'm doing a ceiling, I like to build like this, like little cross sections. Um, this one... Hmm. I'm getting a little nervous with the, um, with the structural integrity. I kind of wish they had a structural integrity thing like, um, like Valheim, where you could see when stuff's getting weak. So, I might want to put a pillar in the middle. I could put a wall, honestly. I'm going to put a wall over here anyway, so I guess we could do that now. Uh, well, the problem is I have this here. Um, I don't really know how I was going to do the wall here, though. Because I, I don't really want to cover up the... I don't want to cover up the pillars, but they're going to get covered up if I, if, I put, if I put a wall in here. But I kind of want a wall in here. So, you know what? Let's take these and kind of mark out where I think the wall would be. We need to craft some more of these as well. 100. Go ahead and eat. 
All right, so I'm thinking those pillars probably won't stay there. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. And then I'll leave that open for now so I can get in there to do some cooking and stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is not where this cooking stuff is going to stay. I just kind of put it there because it's out of the way. All right, so this will come over like so. All right, yeah, I think covering that up is probably for the best. All right, so this is what I got so far. Pretty nice, nicely angled and all that good stuff. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put these um, upside down and backwards. Like so. Yes. Good. And then we're going to copy, copy there. And then I just put the wood stuff down to kind of see how I want to put things down. And then once I find something I like, I put it down permanently. So that looks pretty good. Lots of headspace. I like it. I like it a lot. And we're not going to do anything upstairs today. Uh, this is strictly to get the first floor completely done. I just want the first floor completely done. And um, I want to get lights up. So, there we go. I'd also like to get some paint going. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, it's just chrysanthemums and oil? I thought there was like a bunch of different plants it needed. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, you know what? Why don't we get some of that going too? Uh, chrysanthemums. I believe I have some of those. Uh, chrysanthemums. Use all of them? We'll see. We will see. I think you get like a million oil. You get a million paint per combined. Also, I'm going to be making empty jars here. There we go. Now, I know I throw empty jars out while I'm out and about and doing like quests and stuff. But the thing is, they're just not worth the inventory space. I'd rather just make them here. They're so cheap. It's just, you know, throw a few sand in there and you're good to go. All right, so let's come through here and let's grab some oil from the tools and parts. Uh, all right, let's organize and... Okay, so we got a good amount of oil, which is good. So we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at paint. So one paint gives you a hundred. Okay, that's a lot. So why don't we do 500 paint? Wow, that's a lot of paint, dude. No joke. And I don't know if I actually need it, but I'll give it a little bit more wood. Okay, cool. So let's get the rest of the ceiling up. Maybe we'll, you know what? Maybe we'll do some painting today. We'll see. We shall see where the day takes us. Because this is looking very flagstony. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's looking really flagstony. Alright, unfortunately for me, the sun's coming up. But we we still have a little bit of darkness here. I, I usually like to do my lights in the, in the dark. Because you can't really tell, you know, where you're going to need what lights and stuff. Unless it's dark in, in the building. So, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Now, where do I want to put the generator? Um, maybe this would be a good spot for the generator. Yeah, actually, that is a really good spot for the generator, isn't it? And then we're also going to grab some... Oh, do I not have any relays here? Do I want to go to the Horde base to get relays? I have a lot of relays at the Horde base, yeah. Well, how how, how expensive are they? Uh, man, you know, I, I have a lot of them over there. Why make them when I don't need them? Let me go to the Horde base and grab some relays. Okay, we need to place these things strategically. So, the first one's going to go up. Nah, the first one doesn't have to go up. The first one can go right here. And I didn't grab a wire tool, but I think I have one here. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, so let's make sure that... I, I'm, the wires are going to be showing a little bit, but I want them to show in, like, only cool ways. Like, along the ceiling and everything. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to pick that up and put it on the ceiling. I think I want all these to be on the ceiling. The thing is... I am going to need a land claim block. Because my land claim... I, I thought you could, like, reactivate these land claim blocks, but if you can, I, I don't remember how. Alright, so that one's going to go on the ceiling right there. And then um, we need to decide where we're going to put the lights. Alright, so I need to... You know what? Let's grab some of these, and I'm going to see where I want to put the lights. I'm thinking uh, probably one, like, right... Mm, here or here? Uh, let's put one right here. The thing is, we won't know for sure, you know, where we need them until we turn them on in the dark. It might not even be dark enough now to get a really accurate representation, but um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. So I'm going to put this on the ceiling, and then I'm going to hook it up to the generator. Make sure there's no wires looking stupid through the walls. 
And uh, let's grab that and that and hook this up right there. Mm, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Let's put that right there. Hook this up to there. And even this is going to look like it's coming up from the bottom a little bit, but it, it looks better. So, all right, let's go ahead and put it. We got to put a um, an engine in here, and then we got to give it some gasoline. I don't know if we have any in here. Um, yeah, we do. That's right. We, gas was the first thing we did. Okay, so go ahead and refuel and turn on, and then turn this off, and then we hook this up to here. All right, that's not bad. That's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good spot for a first light. Yeah, that's not that's not bad at all. Okay, so the other one. All right, what is that? That's two spots away. So that's one, and then the second. So that's one, and then the second. Okay. All right. Wow, that's not bad. Now don't forget, it's still not really totally dark time yet, so. You know, uh, it's not a totally accurate representation of what it's going to be like, but it's pretty good. Um, and then I'm thinking one, like, right here. And then we'll hook you up there. All right. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good amount of light right there. Even during the dark, I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, I need to finish over here. Okay, so how did we do this? We came out one and then a slanty block. All right, so that came out one. One. I'll finish up the corner later. I'm just trying to get this uh, situated. Um, slanty block. There we go. And... Alright. So then, where did I put that light? Oh, I love the lights in this game, by the way. Um, not all the lights are really worth it. Is um, Alright, I haven't messed with the... These lights right here are simple, uh, basic light bulbs. Okay. I haven't messed with a different light than these in years. So it might be a couple of years, definitely a couple alphas. Okay, so take that with a grain of salt when I say this. But these are the only lights that have ever been useful to me in any way. Uh, the other lights just kind of are not that good. Uh, is it right there? No, that was the wrong spot. I got it in the right spot now. I think it kind of looks different over here. Um, two blocks away from the side. Two blocks away from this side? No, that's right. If I'm looking right here, this is the open spot with the little slanty thing down here over one, and it's lined up. So right here, the little slanty thing over one, and it's lined up. Okay, yeah, I think it's... I think it's what it's supposed to be. All right, there we go. Cool. All right, well, let's put some lights in here. Uh, let's pick this up. All right, so you walk in the door, and that will be a good spot for the first light. And then I'm thinking another light right here. And let's uh, copy shape. And let's build this up and put another light in here. I, I really want to do some painting. I think I'm going to do some painting today. All right, so there we go. All right, so where'd this light go? So that's um, it's lined up with the window. One, two, third spot away from the window. One, two, third spot away from the window. Okay, so now we need. Uh, we'll put this right here. Nah, I don't like it there. Well, I get. Nah, you know what? We'll do. We'll put this right here. And then here, and then we'll bring this over to here. There. Come on. Yeah, wait. You gotta wait a second. All right, then we'll bring that right here, and that should be able to hook up to all the lights, no problem. All right, boom, and boom, and there we go. Is that the lights for the whole first floor? Yeah, boy. I like that. Now, I want to do some lights outside, but I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. And not put the lights outside. I'd also like to put some glass in. You know, let's put some glass in. Um, I have some bulletproof glass around here somewhere, which is what I decided 
to use as glass. So let's go right there, hold that, and we'll use, yep, yep, that's exactly what I want. There we go. Alright, it's a bullet. Now this stuff has like 3,000 hit points. They will not go for the glass, at least until I start really upgrading this place. I'd have to go to reinforced concrete for them to not go for the glass. The glass is going to be the strongest part unless I turn this thing into reinforced concrete, which I really don't have any plans to. There we go. Alright, cool. Cool. Now, um, are we going to start painting? Yeah, I think painting is our next... Well... I should probably work on the porch outside, but I think I'm going to hold that off for another video. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do some painting here. So let's do this, this, gas, glue, and that paint will not take too long. Um, I'm going to need a paintbrush. I don't think I have one. Uh, paintbrush, wood, and leather. Do I not? Yeah, I always scrap. There's no way I have a paintbrush. I always scrap them. Always. All right. So there you go. And that's because it's so damn cheap. Okay, so I love the idea, I think, of wood floors. And I just kind of decide what I want the walls to look like. I might, well, I don't know. Reinforced concrete just looks kind of, I don't know. It, it, yeah, it looks kind of bland after a while. Um, I could make the whole thing look like this uh, with a cobblestone. Or I could just upgrade them and not paint them at all. Because, um, honestly, like I'm going to want this to be cobblestone. That's, that's a fact. That is definitely a fact. So let's grab this. And let's upgrade all the outer walls. Whoops. That's not upgrading, Cage. You're, I think you're a little confused, my man. Okay. Now I have to decide what I want to do. Whatever. Now, do I want those? Do I want the outer walls to stay like that? Honestly, I think it looks pretty badass. Um, let me take a look at what kind of paint options we are going to have here. Okay. I got some painting options I'm going to like. Uh, first things first, we're going to paint this... Uh, what is this called? Um, metal reinforced wood. Yeah. I like this. It's a nice it's a nice reinforced metal wood look to hold up all my boxes and keep all my loot nice and safe. Now, how do I want to handle this? You know what? I think I want to change this up a little bit. So let's break this out. Okay. And then what I'm thinking is... Um, nope. Like that. R... And then I'm thinking, like, have some kind of angled block here. Do I just want to go with a basic, you know, uh, flagstone ramp? Or do I want to go with something a little different? Um, we could put stairs there. Uh, wait, that's not... Oh, yeah, it is stairs. All right, let's try... There we go. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that. So let's break this out. And we'll do the same thing. Okay, we do copy rotation. And then paint these. Yeah. Oh, man, that looks freaking dope as hell. Now, is the inside going to look the same as the outside as far as blocks goes? You know, I'm not really sure. I am not really sure. I'm going to have to think about that. It might be. I might make the inside walls and the, outs and the outside blocks look all the same. I haven't really decided yet. I have decided on the floor. I've decided on the roof. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and break this. Actually, it looks pretty good without anything there, too. Wow, actually, <laughs> that looks really good just like that as well. But I think it looks better like this. Yeah. Yeah, faux shout. So, uh, nope, that's what we wanted. Damn, I kind of, I could have pressed R, couldn't I? Or something to reverse it. I think it's right click to reverse it, I forget. Well, let's find out. Nope, it's not right click to reverse it, obviously. I think it was R. All right, let's try this again. And we're going to on face. Nope. There we go. And then we're going to copy rotation. And then we're going to paint. Doesn't seem like the lights are quite enough. I don't know. I might put a... There's no light from... Oops. There's no light from this angle. What the hell? Oh, it was already painted. Oh, I see. Wait, why? There we go. Yeah, it's kind of weird there. Um, I'm probably going to want to light in this corner. Maybe I'll move this one out over here a little bit and then put another one in this corner. We'll see. For now, I'm going to leave it alone, though. All right, so you got to get these on all angles. But it's kind of tough. 
Why is that not painting? There we go. Yeah, you gotta get it at a certain spot. That is odd. But we got it. Uh, paint that and paint that. All right, so this is gonna be the floor. And we're gonna use texture picker. And then we're gonna go ahead and paint the floor. And I think I'm gonna go to roller for this. There we go. All right. And a little bit more right there. Yeah, the roller obviously goes a lot quicker. But the problem is if, if you go in the wrong spot with the roller, it'll like go up the wall. <laughs> so that, that would kind of suck. Um, no, not that. Um, go with the paintbrush. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And I'm wondering if anyone's going to point it out that this thing was not centered. It was to the right one spot. I, when I noticed it, I was like, how did that happen, Cage? How did you let this happen? <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty easy fix, but it's just, you know, I'm surprised. I don't, I don't normally do that kind of stuff. All right. I'm going to reorganize these at some point as well. Um, not today or anytime soon, but um, I will be reorganizing them at some point because um, I, I want certain things in certain places, you know? All right. So uh, we got to break this out. And do I have any building stuff? Um, yeah, I do. Cool. And before I, before I forget, hold down R and go to writable storage box. Because a lot of times I put it down and I forget to make it a writable storage box. And I have to break it up because I specifically want a writable storage box, damn it. I can't believe I did this. I mean, this is just unbelievable. All right. Uh, copy shape. Copy rotation. Whoops. Damn it. Copy rotation. Here we go. So I'm not sure how I want to do the indoor walls. Okay, I've got two ways I can do things. First of all, I broke this out, and I'm going to use these right here. All right, and then we need to up build them out. There we go. And, yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so I could either have it like this. I have to move the lights around. They're not quite in the right spot, but I'll do that later. All right, so I can either have this. This could be the inside walls. I can just have all the inside walls as this um, reinforced wood look. Or I could do it like this, where I have this, like, stone trim on the bottom. And then I have this, like, concrete look. I kind of like the stone better. I'm going to tell you why. The stone really, like... All right, if you, if you kind of, like, build, like, over here, right? And the inside walls are the same exact kind of you know, look as this little stairway area. Um, it doesn't really pop as much. Like, I feel like the stairs here, you know, the sideways stairs and this little area that's holding up my storage chest, I feel like it pops a lot more when it's, um, when it's next to, like, concrete of some kind or stone, a stone-looking, you know, thing. So, I think I'll probably go with the stone, but I don't know. I'll have to see. If, we'll see. For now, it's going to be the stone. But you never know until the whole place is built. You know what I mean? All right, so texture picker. Okay. And then texture picker. And then texture picker. Uh, let's go with the roller here. All right. There we go. Oh, see? You, you could uh, right-click and take that off, by the way. Yeah, whatever. It's good enough. All right, so we've either got this side. All right, plus this, this like, with it like this, it kind of makes me think I'm in, like, a, a dungeon of some kind. It doesn't, I don't know. Or we've got this side. I think I like this side better. Yeah, we're going to go with that for now. I could change my mind, but as of right now, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So let's go with texture picker. And paintbrush. And then we do that. Okay. Let's come all the way around. There we go. And then we go texture picker. Okay. See, I like this because it, it kind of looks like Adobe, like an Adobe type thing, like an indoor, you know, like building type build. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. 
All right. And then, uh, so whatever is inside is going to be inside. So that means um, this is going to get painted like this. All right. By the way, I, I had like a, a few hundred paint in my, um, <laughs> in one of my chests. So I made that 500 paint. I ended up like using a couple hundred of it and I had like 700. So um, what I'm trying to say here is I've got a lot of paint. All right. And uh, nope, not there. And then pick this. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like it a lot. By the way, um, if I turn off the lights, if, right, it actually gets really dark in here, even during the day. Well, because there's no, you know, there's no light coming in, because my windows are kind of small. So, it is what it is. I got no problem keeping my lights on the, the whole time. All right, let's go ahead and repair. Oh, I can't repair that right now. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Texture picker. Here we go. All right, and I will do under the stairs at a later date. I think uh, we are going to call this one here. We've done a lot of good work here. The only thing that sucks is I haven't done anything defensively for this base. It's all looks, <laughs> but it looks good. Oh, hold on. I never did the ceiling. Yeah, right here. Texture picker for the ceiling. And that's just like regular, regular roll drop ceiling. Nothing fancy there. All right. There we go. All right, I'm going to finish this up off camera. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.